Hi guys, um, I firstly wanted to say I'm so sorry that videos haven't really been coming in the last two weeks and the next few days I'm going to be uploading loads of videos for you. Um, for a week and a half I was really ill, I had flu and in that time I spilled water all over my laptop so I wasn't able to upload videos, I wasn't able to get it working. Um, so now I'm up and running and I'm able to make videos again. So. Um, this video I'm going to be talking about my research critique because I told you guys that I would um, post that and I'll tell you when I got the results. I did get the results over a week ago now but as I said I haven't been able to make these videos. Um, so I've got them, I've got here and I'll just tell you a bit about what I had to do for this essay and then tell you about my grades and the feedback I got. Um, so it, it was a research critique so we had to um, choose, we had to find a piece of research and choose between two topics which was either substance misuse or diabetes and it had to be to, to our branch and we had to do it to, um, to do with children. Um, so I chose diabetes and I did a, an article on insulin pump therapy which was really interesting and I really enjoyed. Um, at the beginning of this I found it really difficult to get my head around that actually everyone in the class did. Um, and it's usually work that you do in your third year, so I'm in my second year. But because it's it's all degree now, they've changed the curriculum. It's 2011 curriculum, so we're kind of the guinea pigs of everything. We're the first to do it. Um, so no one really knew what they were doing, and for that reason, it was quite difficult. Um, and it became clearer over time, um, and the kind of deadline got closer and closer. So I handed this piece of work in on the 8th of January. Um, and it was just a really hard piece of work. So what we had to do, um, you have the different aspects of an article, so like the abstract, um, the author, the title, um, introduction, the um, methods and materials used, the results, the discussion, the conclusion, things like that of the article. And you had to look at that, um, and so you have two types of research, quantitative and qualitative. So um, quantitative is like, I remember it as like quantity, so it's all to do with numbers, statistics, um, it's often control studies, control trials, and qualitative is like the quality of something, so um, it's all to do with people's experiences and, and feelings and more, a lot more personal. So mine was qualitative study, um, and, I re and I really loved the piece of research, and um, in the end I quite enjoyed critiquing it. Um, so I talked about some of the different biases, I had to do loads of reading because you have to reference everything um, and um, my boyfriend's doing a research degree, so uh, or PhD rather, so he's um, he was helping me and I got lots of people to read it, sorted out the grammar and things um, and it, it changed quite drastically um, from what I first did which was just a kind of systematic um, breakdown of of critiquing the different parts but I didn't really go in depth and when I showed it to my tutor she was saying that I needed to go more in depth and um, so that's what I did and I, I made three main points um, on this article and on the research so it was a 2000 word essay and we had ages to do it we had um, I don't know like over six weeks eight six seven weeks like something like that so it was a long time um, but it, but it was a hard piece of work so um, I handed it in kind of just not really knowing what to expect when I got it back because I've never done a research critique before, it's second year so it's new marking, um, if you go back to other videos I've done, the presentation is the only thing I've done in my second year and I got an A grade on that, um, just, but presentations are a lot, dif lot different than essays but usually I'm better at essays so I was kind of a bit positive about it but also just not really sure what they were looking for. So I got the results last weekend as I said and it was quite disappointing. I got um, a 56, 56% 56 which is a C and it's a pass because it's a 40% pass mark, pass grade um, and I was upset by it but um, not as upset as I thought I would be because I always because I've achieved A's all the way through. So to go from getting loads of A's to getting a C, um, I was quite shocked. Um, and there were other people in my class as well that really struggled with their essay that got kind of B grades. 
Um, so I was disappointed and the feedback was mainly that they didn't really agree with my argument. They said, um, so I'm just reading it, they said um, like there was, there was things wrong with my referencing and things. It was very small things and I think actually I had a really harsh marker. Although I don't think I would have ever got an A for it, just seeing what other people have got and seeing what I got, obviously. Um, but I don't know, like, it was a good essay and I think I wrote it well, but it obviously wasn't what they were looking for. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, it was a bit disappointing, but, um, you know, I'm carrying on with it. I'm waiting to find out my exam results um, and I'll do a separate video on my exam, so I'm not going to go into that now. Um, but that's what I had to do for my research critique, that's the grade I got. And I'm kind of just, you know, I'm happy that I passed. And kind of at this stage I just feel like all I want to do is pass because it's getting hard and it's getting competitive. Um, and I started the degree just wanting A's, wanting to finish with a first class degree. And now, you know, as long as I get through it, <laughs> I'm happy. So, um, you know, you've got to see the positive in these things, you can't dwell on them. Um, obviously I'll also, you know, believe it's, you know, God's sovereign, it's all in his hands. So, um, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy with that, I'm happy I've passed. Um, and I think that's all I really have to say about it. So, um, as I said, there'll be more videos coming in the next few days, um, for you. I'll try and get your requests done soon, um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.